Okay, in this video I want to show you how horses react before you ride him. He's a young horse, I'm starting him, taking him, the bridle is over there, the halter is over there, he knows that I will ride him, and he left all the other areas in the paddock and he came to me. I am outside the paddock, he's inside the paddock, he's moving close to the bridle, to the halter, he knows I will ride him, he chose to come here. And that proves to you that horses love it when you ride them in a correct way. To him, it's about getting out and having fun if you ride in a correct way. But if you ride in a bad way, wrong way, of course he will hate it. He wants nothing to do with it. Not because of him, not because of the ride, because of your way of riding. So that's a proof that people are wrong when they say it's normal for your young horses when you break them or start them to hate riding. They don't like riding, they don't like the rider. He chose to come to me while seeing the bridle, while seeing the halter, and while seeing me. Now if I go inside, move at him, he moves back. If I give him my hand, he's biting and playing. If I move back behind him, he follows me. I move away. See how he's biting? He's playing. While he's biting, not hitting me. Although he's a young horse, I am breaking him, I am starting him, but still he's giving me the same result that my own horses give me. So total control and real trust has nothing to do with the age of the horse, the breed of the horse, or uh, how strong or weak the horse is. That's my opinion about this issue. In this video I'm starting to enter uh, the horse. What I want you to see is how he cantered, or if he cantered, he immediately stops and goes back to trot instead of running away. As I said before, the first canter, the first trot, the first walk with bad riders, the horse will always try to run away, take off. But when you ride him in the correct way, instead of running away, when he disagrees with you, he will slow down. With a young horse, he wants to move faster and you want to canter. This agreement will lead to a full stop or slowing down as I said before. So, I will move him trot then try to canter him and see for yourself what he will do when he canters. Back, he moved back to trot. So any disagreement will lead to a slowing down or a full stop. I want to canter. He wants to uh, run away or back or play. Disagreement led to a stop or a slowing down. He will stop or he will slow down. Although the car is next to him, first canter, bear back. No martingale or whip or spurs or whatever did not buck, did not run away. And this is what I was talking about in my videos. When disagreement leads to a full stop or slowing down, especially with young horses, we are breaking a horse or starting a horse, which is a real test, true test. That means 90% of the problems that you face with horses are gone. Any disagreement with a horse that you are lead, you are breaking, you are starting, will lead to a full stop, that means there are no problems anymore. So, I trot, I ask him to canter, maybe he wants to take off or back or play or whatever. If he doesn't give me what I want, which is normal canter, he will slow down or he will stop. So, there is no real problem. But if you think about it and see what horses do with bad riders or beginners or normal ways of riding or whatever, the disagreement when you are breaking the horse or starting the horse leads to gallop or taking off or whatever or playing so of course he will do it again when you ride him with horses he will do it again when he when he's afraid of something he will do it again when he wants to play or whatever so this agreement leads to a stop that means it's not gone he 
will save it in the memory card and he will use it in the future when he's afraid. When he's afraid, he will stop. And this agreement leads to taking off or buying or whatever. That means it's not gone. He will use it when he needs to, when there is a reason, like he's afraid of something or he wants to run away with it. So what happens now will never be forgotten by the horse. He always remembers what happened. So again, I will talk to him and do the same thing. He's talking, I'm moving him. I keep moving him. Changing his direction. Why why are you moving him? You see he's pointing at the car. He's afraid of the car. He wants to turn away until you change his direction. This agreement lets us stop. He's stuck. immediately when he wanted to buck. So instead of running away, immediately he stopped. He's afraid of the car. I'm not moving away from the car. I'm moving towards the car, to the car, to make him know that you are ready for doing that. I did not use strength, so why not? You want to stop, stop. You want to play, play, but I'm not using strength, so any disagreement will lead to a stop. When he wants to take off or run away, and that will lead to stopping and heading up, he knows it's better than running away or taking off. So with time, he understands it's a better solution. Cantering, he's saying I want to gallop. Or I want to canter, he wants to gallop, he wants to take off. He's saying we disagree. Usually, if I use strength and pull him back, of course he will run away and move straight and buck or uh, take off or whatever. But if you ride him in the correct way, this agreement leads to a stop or slowing down. So that means to him, giving you canter is better than disagreeing. Because this agreement led to stopping. Canter is closer to what he wants, which is in this case taking off, than stopping. So again, the same action that happened with you will happen with me. If your reaction is better, he will give you a better reaction. If my reaction is better, he will give you a better reaction. It's that simple. Nothing more than that. So again, I move the horse. Why do I move him? Although it's his first time with the car, an open place, I'm broken horse, I'm breaking him, I'm starting him. Why am I doing that? It's very simple. Because you saw it for yourself. If he disagreed, he will stop. So I'm not afraid that he will take off. It's impossible that he will take off. He will not run away. He will not bolt. So if something wrong happens, he will stop. What's the problem? Go ahead, move. But they don't move him, especially in open places, because if they move him, he will run away. He will take off. But in my case, he cannot take off. I can stop him whenever I want. Like I'm talking him right now. If I want to stop him, see. What give him back? Huh? What give him so ها؟ بس شوي. خلاص يلا. هي هي the horses. He's a better car. And I'm moving him. And he cannot run away. So there is nothing dangerous about it. I want to 
see, he's afraid of that color, the red color, and moving him as if by changing his direction. While he's moving, I'm blocking horse, I'm playing, I'm blocking him. While he's moving, he's not bucking or running up or turning off to the opposite direction. He's not running to the opposite direction. He's moving to it. He's not even thinking about running to the opposite direction. And that shows you why I was able to... <laughs> That tells you why I was doing what I was doing, doing which is uh, riding him with other horses. He sees the other man behind him, the other horse behind him, a scary car to the right side, a scary uh, color to the left side, but still, all that will lead to stopping if he disagrees. I want to <laughs> he wants to go to the other horses, he doesn't want the car. So, what, well, what that will lead if he disagrees with me? He wanted to do what he wants, he will stop. So he's saying, okay, I want the mares, I don't want the car. This asshole on my back wants to canter or trot or uh, walk or whatever. If I disagree, I will stop. Which means giving him what he wants is better than uh, stopping or going down. So technically what they want is closer to what he wants than what will happen if he disagrees. Again, what will happen is bad compared to what I want when it comes for what he wants. What he wants is closer to what I want compared to what will happen if he disagrees. So that's my opinion about starting. Now, if I'm moving the horse, again, the mares are behind him, or the horses are behind him, and I move him more right now because I feel that he's becoming heavier in the body, the body more, so I'm using my body more while he's moving. I will stop him now. Collect and he will move back. So this is what made me do what I did. Why are you riding a young horse, breaking him or starting him or leading him in an open place with a car, steady things and things that he wants to go to like other horses or other mares and still you are moving him or cantering him. It's very simple. Because of what happened, because of what you saw. He will not take off. He will not run 90% of what people tell you are things connected to taking off. They say, don't do this or this or that, because if you did it, he will take off. He will bolt. But if it's impossible for him to bolt or take off, then there is no danger at all. It's not dangerous anymore. So my point is very simple. It's a long video, but I will try to edit or uh, the video or make it make it shorter while moving the horse to walk and while moving the horse to trot and while you can see it in the other videos and while moving the horse to uh, canter any disagreement in the beginning will lead to stopping although you are starting a horse getting a horse a new horse which means there is no danger it's not dangerous what's the problem move you disagree stop they say we cannot stop him, and that's the problem. The problem is not moving. The problem is if he wanted to take off, they cannot stop him. I can't stop him whenever I want, so what's the problem? Moving him in an open place when he's afraid. There is nothing wrong about it. You saw it for yourself. Instead of running away, he tried to buck. That led to what? To stopping and rearing up. So trying to run away led to stopping and rearing up, which means I will lose my balance, which means he will lose his balance. So he's afraid of it. That's why he keeps getting wet. So again, trot, different area. Why I'm trusting? I'm using my body more because he's using his body more.
When he was afraid of something on the right side, right now because he knows my way of riding, he my hand, he immediately looks at it instead of running away. Usually horses run away from it, then look at it. Like in their nature, when you scare a horse in the paddock when he's alone, he will run away immediately, then look at you and look at the scary thing. But if you ride a horse and uh, control him in the right way, instead of running away and looking, he will look like in their nature, when you scare a horse in the paddock when he's alone, he will run away immediately, then look at you and look at the scary thing. But if you ride a horse and uh, control him in the right way, instead of running away and looking, he will look before running away. So looking before running away means he trusts you and you made him do that. It's not th something that he did, it's something that you made him do. And that's a good thing, special thing. So, <laughs> the same idea, different horses. Uh, in the paddock, while leading the horse, while trotting or cantering or walking, if I disagree with you, you will stop, not because I stopped you, because my reaction unconsciously will lead to a stop. Because if I fall down, you might fall down. If I lose my balance, you lose your balance. So, so uh, to protect himself or to, let's say, keep himself safe, he will keep you safe. It's that simple. Go again. Let's start again. He's afraid of the things on the left side. He's looking at them. If he wants to change his direction, he will stop. He's afraid on the left side. If we disagree, he will stop. That's why he did not disagree. He knows that if he wants it to run away to the opposite direction, he will stop. So trotting is closer to what he wants. They are running away. So why bother? Now he's afraid of the car on the left side. I want you to look at his reaction. He's afraid. I'm trotting. Look at his reaction. I'm trotting. See? I did not do anything. I'm trotting. He wanted to run away. He knows that he cannot run away, so he stopped. Now, he's thinking, horses to the right side, scary things to the left side. He said, that it will hurt. I said, it will not. I was right, he was wrong. It did not hurt. That's why he keeps giving me better results, progressing, because what happened? Again, now I will collect the left side. Again with one hand. Again with the left hand. We don't do. Horses always choose to run away and buck instead of stop. You make it stop instead of bucking instead of running away. That's a good thing that you make. That you create. You see, 
while trotting, it's a loose leg, bare back. I'm not holding myself when a young horse that I am breaking or starting while trotting, bare back. So it's not about the body, it's about the hand. It's about what the hand does. I will stop him now. you are counting the horse for the first time or first times still if anything happens I can still do that which is stopping that's why I do the opposite of what people say it's dangerous it's wrong don't do it of course if you ride in their way of riding but if you ride in this way of riding what could happen what's the problem there is nothing wrong if he does something wrong stop of course I'm not stopping him he's stopping himself as you can see He's a young horse that I'm taking. It's maybe 19th or 18th day. And I'm trying to canter. Instead of uh, holding him while he's canting, I am the one canting. I'm the one moving. See? Oh. See the difference? So, same actions and reactions with everyone means same result. If your reaction is completely like my reaction, you will get my result. Because his action with me and with you is one. But my reaction and your reaction are completely different. Which means the bad things that happen are from them, not from the host. What he did with me, he will do it with everyone. If their reaction is better, he will give them better reaction, better results. If their reaction is worse, he will give them worse results. That's it. So again, for the last time. I will stop it now. Boom. So this is horsemanship. Riding a young horse, 18th or 19th day, with a car, scary things, open places, no saddle, no equipment or tools, no help from anyone, and any disagreement will lead to a stop. When you do that, when you get that result, you have the right to talk about it. But when you say it's impossible or wrong or bad or whatever, and you cannot do it, it's very simple. You say bad things about it because you are not good enough to do it. That's my opinion, and I will show you the progress if I make more videos in the future. That's my opinion about it.